Rum Collector. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try to help some of you guys out. I got a message the other day asking me that uh, how do I do some of this stuff. So, I'm gonna break it down in a simple way. When you get your Wii, or if you have your Wii, first thing you want to do is go to options, go to settings. This is going to be heartbreaking for some because you might have some saved data from games. But the first thing I always do is I always format them. Just format the Wii so you can start fresh. The other thing you got to make sure you do, it's your 4.3, 4.3, the version. Um, my, this Wii is European, so it's an E. But you're probably going to be a U, and Japanese would be a J. But as long as you're 4.3, you can do what I tell you. All right, so make sure you're 4.3, and then you format your Wii. Once you format it, if you're not 4.3, you're going to go to Wii System Update and try to do it. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's sometimes it's hard. The Wii just keeps um, going halfway and it just stops. But uh, once you get to 4.3, you can move on to the next step. The next step is after you do your the date, the time, all this time, and you load up your Wii and you and you back to the home screen here. I always do is click on the SD card, and you're gonna see in like in this area. I'll do it now. Let's see what happens. It shouldn't read anything. See, it doesn't read anything because everything is with the apps. But when you first do it, after you format it, you're going to come to the screen. It's going to give you an option over here. It's going to say, do you want to uh, load an SD card? So you're going to go next. Click. You're going to click here like four times. Next, 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 next. Just let the Wii. Let the Wii try to read uh, SD card. And of course, it's nothing going to be in there. So. So it won't find nothing, but I will do that every time because sometimes the Wii's have a tendency that if you don't do that, if you don't do the next, 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 it'll do it by itself. And I don't know why. Right, it's just the Wii's. All right. So after you do that, you're going to go back to Wix settings. This is all after you formatted it. Okay. You, you're a f member, you're going to be a 4.3 and you're going to move on to internet. You want to make sure you tap it, connect it, whatever you want to call it, link it, sync it to your Wi Fi. So you're going to go to connection settings, and I already have mine connected. So you're going to go through the whole process of hold on, let me go back. I clicked, I clicked one. So hold on. So you're gonna go ahead process that. I click three. So you're gonna go wireless connection, access point. You know, it's gonna choose an access point. Okay, mine is this one. I already did it. So you will just select it, and it will ask you to um, to sync to the connection. And once you um do the connection is going to ask you to uh, do a test. So once you do the test, you do the test I'm doing on mine. <coughs> Sometimes it takes a while. Wii's are slow with the Wi-Fi for some reason. So just give it a second to do this thing. And when it's testing, it's going to it's going to say the same thing it's going to tell me right now. It's gonna ask, it's gonna it's gonna say the connection was successful. Would you like to update now? And you're gonna say of course. No. Nope. Just like you do the drugs. 
all right so once you do that you're all set you're all set for what you gotta do okay now you got Wi-Fi you got this all right the way you do the first thing you have to do after you do what I just told you you have to get the homebrew channel that's what makes everything possible to get the homebrew channel you're gonna go back to this you're gonna go back to setting oh, oh shit I got out you go back to settings once you're over here you're gonna go to internet and instead of connection settings you're going to console information Okay, I won't do it because you're going to see, cause you'll see my MAC address. But that's what you need. You're just going to be address over here. Okay. Once you, once you, in, you can even leave it in the screen if you want. And all you have to do is go on your computer and go to please dot hack me hack me me is spelled with an M I I like a we so it's hack M I I dot com well, let me double check that mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I have it over here I go to it all the time yeah so it's please dot hack M I I like me dot com so once you go there it's gonna say to put your mac address and then you're gonna follow the you know you're gonna put your mac address there you're gonna click i'm not a robot and then you're gonna either cut the red or blue wire i always just cut the red wire all right so once you do that you're gonna download it to your computer and you're gonna you're gonna open the fold you're gonna go to your downloads you're gonna go to it you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna extract all or extract or extract folders and once you do that it's gonna extract one folder and it's gonna say hack me the same name or whatever the folder says you're gonna open that folder you're gonna get a SD card that's two gigs they're not hard sometimes they're hard to find but I always suggest using an actual SD card not a SD card with an adapter sometimes some Wii's don't read it so just a two gig SD card you're gonna grab it you're gonna put it in your computer you're gonna format it to FAT32 what what originally is fat 32 and then you're going to open the folder you extracted from the hack me and you're going to open that folder and once you open it you double click on it it's going to it's going to be a files it's going to be one folder that says private and a whole bunch of other files you're going to grab those files and transfer them directly into the SD card and that's it once you do that you're gonna take out the SD card from your computer safely of course and then you're gonna put you know you probably still be at this screen over here or you can just turn off the Wii and but if you still at this screen over here all you do is grab the SD card that you just took out the computer that you transfer the files from the download you did from HackMe and you're gonna go back to this screen over here and you're gonna insert your SD card then you're gonna see that this light up like this when the SD card is out it will be white and when you put the SD card it will be blue like this okay once you do that then you're gonna go to over here the message board 
and I give it like around 30 seconds sometimes I leave and come back and then just hit the plus or minus I always hit the minus and go back in years and once you do that you're gonna see like a little letter bomb and then you're just gonna click on it boom like that once you click on it you're gonna see a screen that says please hack me about the program that have you been charged it's a ripoff and other stuff and then you're gonna give it a second you give it like a minute or so and then you're gonna see a one pop up where you press one you're gonna press one it's gonna go into the hack me for the homebrew channel you're gonna press a then you're gonna press up 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 on the little pad you're gonna highlight homebrew channel and you're gonna press a and you're gonna click install once this is gonna say successfully install homebrew channel you're gonna hit B to back out and then you're gonna go all the way down to exit once you exit it's gonna take you it's gonna take you straight hold on my controller is messed up shit backwards there you go there you go all right so once 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 you hit exit after you install the homebrew channel it's gonna go straight to it. All right, once you, it's gonna be like this, but you probably won't see none of this. Once you did that, you're really you're you're took you took the first big step to doing everything else. All right, so once you get the homebrew channel here, that's it. All you have to do is your main goal is to get the homebrew browser. Once you get the homebrew browser, that's it. it. Allows you to do a lot of things. The homebrew browser, you can find it in a, in a lot of videos. Just, um, just, just do like I did. Just YouTube homebrew browser on YouTube, and you'll find the link. There's a lot of people who have the link for them. I found it pretty easy. So once you have the homebrew browser, it allows you to download some apps some applications some emulators stuff that you'll need that to run different programs and to run um different apps all right so i'm gonna let it load up so you can see how it looks okay okay sometimes it takes a minute but you see i have to have internet yeah i have to you gotta have internet so you gotta make sure you do your Wi-Fi thing and now you can't do none of this stuff alright so I'll show you some of the applications I got uh, in the emulator section I just got the Nintendo one Super Nintendo Game Boy Advance the Nintendo 64 hold on that's that's the PlayStation emulator that um that I have a forwarder for. A forwarder is is a it's a it's a app it's a it's a file that lets you make a channel in the main screen. But as you can see, I have some emulators here. But the most important one will be in this section over here, utilities. Okay, utilities, and we're gonna go down. Something you need is this one, USB loader GX. And main one you're gonna need to to be able to use a USB loader. It's the GameCube loader. Nin nin don't Nintendo don't. Then don't that so you can play uh, GameCube games, but the most important one, it's this right here. Where is it? This thing is slow. I know. You can make it faster, but I'll probably get lost. This right here. 
this what this is the key for you guys to be able to use the USB loader GX alright the D2X CIOS installer and I'll show you how to use that in the next video to be continued thanks for watching ROM collect